afternoon. Sot and Piper here. On a fairly, really, fairly crisp day in Tidworth. I thought I'd just uh, thought I'd make a quick video. I um, I got given this for. Um, well, I say I got given it for Christmas. I bought it myself for Christmas, but. I thought I'd give it a go because I like, I, you know, as you well know, I quite like cigars and it's a little, not little, it's an electronic cigar. I just thought it was like 20 quid for, and here you get, basically you got um, the battery here which you just plug into your USB to charge up and then you, that's the, that is the sort of, it's basically it's like a liquid and then you vapor you, as you inhale it or draw on it it vaporizes and then it, what you're actually getting in your mouth is vapor as opposed to tobacco smoke per se and it's like they come it comes in like three different flavors this one is like supposedly like a havana cigar flavor <laughs> yeah okay then and there was two others that i can't remember but anyway um it's not bad. It's you know of a robusto, I think, size cigar sort of thing. It's got a little fake ash on the end, and if I just give it a quick draw, you can see there that the little end lights up, and it doesn't give a. It actually gives quite a lot of vapor out, to be honest. Flavor-wise, it's not unpleasant flavor. You know, to be honest, it's, you know, not unpleasant at all. It, but it is certainly not a Havana cigar equivalent, I can assure you. As you can see, or can't see maybe. There we go. It's, you know, it gives out a lot of vapour to be fair. And, you know... Uh, you know, I, I don't, you know, I'm not... Like, you know, if you wanted to, like, like, because it doesn't smell or anything like that, you know, a wife doesn't mind me puffing away on this in the house or in the car or whatever, and you know, so it's quite nice to just pretend you're having a cigar, <laughs> and it's not bad taste. This is the um, they come in two strengths. I think it's medium and strong. I got the medium one, but I think if I get them again, because you you just you, the battery is you know a battery. You, you all you do is buy these, and I think they're not that expensive, about a tenner for three or something. I think um, they're supposed to last about a thousand puffs apparently. Which is, and um, but I think if I buy them again, I would probably buy the um, buy the the stronger one just to see what that's like. And I do you know the Havana one out of all three, I think is. Probably wouldn't the better the better of the three, I think. But, you know, it's okay. It's not it's nothing too elaborate. I did buy this as well, which is a it's basically it is a, another version of this. It's the same principle. This is a cartonizer, so you can see it's got the liquid in it and the battery here. But you have to press a button. So if you sort of yeah. But that has got a completely different, completely different flavour to it. In that way, it's not really that nice, and I just probably will not keep this one. It doesn't actually work that well. But yeah, you know, I think. And what do I get these? These are from a company called. If you can see it, where's the camera? Where was that in? Sorry. B and M. So if you just basically Google B and M electronic cigars, and there they go. It was I think it was twenty two pound for the cigar, and then you get two, you get basically one of each of the flavors as well. So it's not too bad. And I mean, it is certainly not a Havana cigar. I mean, it's not even in the same ballpark. But it's okay for what it is. You know, a bit of a, a bit of fun and. You know, so there we go. That's uh, Sot and Piper in Tidworth smoking a B and M Havana flavored electronic cigar. Oh, see you again.